Hi guys, so today I wanted to show you my makeup collection and my storage, how I store it all and where I film. So basically I hope this video is going to be really fast. Sorry if it's a little bit shaky, but I'm holding my camera with my hand. And yeah, this video actually was requested by many many people uh, over months and maybe even two years and I finally got around doing it because I feel like what I've done here, I'm finally satisfied with how it all looks. I still have a lot to do and still have a lot to buy. For example, plastic containers, I don't have any, but you will, so, oh, you will see when I show it. And yeah, so this is my space where I film and where, where I store my, my stuff, my makeup. And there's my bed and there's my cat. But sorry about the mess in the bed. There's my little kitty. Say hi. He's very sleepy today. Say hi. <laughs> okay, so what I think I'm gonna start with the top of it and what I have on my um, desk. So here I have um, the stuff that I tend to use often. And here I have my MAC face and body foundations, which I use a lot on myself and of course primer sprays um, this one is Scandinavia let me zoom in why is that focusing there we go so this is a Scandinavia uh, makeup finishing spray and I have also a primer spray of this uh, really great ones um, then I have my boss fragrance and then I have a little bit of uh, makeup remover here I have a lot of um, a lot of lip stuff. So these cases basically, let me show you, I'm gonna get this out of the way. These, ba uh, these cases are acrylic ones and I'm gonna put the link down below where I got them. They're really good for stacking your lipsticks and your, your lip glosses, anything you really want. So yeah, here I have a lot of uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills glosses. Then I have Lorac glosses, these ones, and then these uh, LA Splash. Um, they're not glosses, they're liquid lipsticks. These are the glosses. Uh, for this one, I haven't filled it up yet. But here I have a lot of um, uh, NYX lipsticks and NYX uh, butter glosses, which I love. They're absolutely my favorite ones. Uh, butter lipsticks as well. They're really good. Then I have some Sweet P and Faye lip paints. And yeah, this is basically everything I have for now, but I have more lipsticks, but they're not here. So moving on to this side, here I have my business cards. Uh, moisturizer. Let's move this back. This is the Il Masque Powder Foundation, which I've run out of and I need to buy it. That's why I left it here. And here in the back, if you see, I have... These ones are the ones that I use most, the NYX Butter Glosses. And I have some bronzers, uh, this NARS um, palette that I use really often, so I'm keeping it here. Um, some NYX blush, MAC blush some face Stockholm BB cream and some uh, highlight highlighting powder I think yeah and in the back I have just random stuff I don't know <laughs> why I have these tablets here but I just like to keep them there so this is the top of it and then I have on the desk I have my hi I have my mirror my my ring mirror I don't know how to call it my beauty mirror um, and to the left I have my accessories with my rings and my bracelets and my cuffs and uh, and jewelry all over the place this actually it's a it's a stand for for um, cutlery so for spoons and, and forks and this is basically for the kitchen but I I bought it and I thought I'm gonna use it as a jewelry holder. Here I have just a little thingy here that glows light. So it's like a snowball or something. It's really pretty. And then I have my ring light. So yeah, here I have my brushes. These are not the 
Uh, these are not all brushes I have. These ones are just the clean ones that I have at the moment uh, because I have a lot of brushes which are dirty and I need to clean them, uh, especially these. Oops. So I have to clean these and, and, and. Yeah, so these these are the ones that I use on myself. So here I have my face brushes at the moment and here are just the small brushes and tweezers and stuff like that. Also the real um, techniques sponge and some face brushes and eye brushes in this uh, thing here. Now I don't have um, a very nice cup as you see to hold these and I need to buy a new one and just a pretty one but this is what I have at the moment uh, the dirty brushes I'm keeping under here so I have my plastic case thingy here with dirty brushes and also two brush rolls which are oops, which are really dirty brushes so I need to clean those so I have yeah two full rolls by the way this is a training train case yeah this is train case that I use for my jobs I have two more cases but I'm not gonna show them because I feel like it's not that important for this video and the last thing I have here actually it's a really really interesting thing that I'm doing at the moment um, I'm working on my I'm working on my own signature lashes at the moment for now it's a secret so yeah I'm just keeping that bare here open for you to just have a little sneak peek of what I have coming up so that's that and then I have my chair um, I really love this chair it's so bright and there's my purse and my my backpack so yeah uh, the table and the chair and the that unit you see over there are from Ikea and I'm gonna leave the links down below what I have in the dressing table I'm gonna show after but now I just want to see what I have in this Alex <laughs> not to see to show you what I have in this Alex unit so let's start with the first drawer um, first of all I just wanted to say I don't have a huge makeup collection I know that so many people have like millions of products but I have what I use and uh, there is so much stuff that I want to still buy but I just don't have enough space for now so the first drawer is like a face drawer um, I have my concealers these ones are Anastasia Beverly Hills then I have Villa Mask powders uh, powder and Hydro Well which is amazing primer then I have this three three stuff three stuff. <laughs> I have these three products that I bought yesterday. This one is uh, Make Forever Sculpting Kit, which I'm so excited to try out. Uh, Mac, uh, uh, what is this? Skin finish powder and concealer, which I ran out of. And here I have uh, like primers, bases, uh, pro pencils by Anastasia. Some concealers, this one's by Maybelline, really good one. Uh, some primers, I don't know, just a mix of primers and bases and creams and concealers. And here I have a lot of foundations, moisturizers, Elizabeth Arden cream, which I love. Um, moisturizer, NYX HD, HD, what is this? High definition. Uh, primer and then just a few foundations that I have uh, yeah make forever primer the green one is a really good one I don't think they make this one anymore they have another green one uh, a new new green primer but this one I love so that's the first drawer basically it's a mix of foundations creams concealers uh, primers yeah moving on moving on to the next drawer and if you have noticed in this one before I don't have any fancy plastic inserts these are just like boxes that I have caught uh, I don't know where this is from any uh, anything that I can get my hands on boxes which I caught from 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 uh, like different items 
I don't even know, I don't remember where I got them, but yeah, you can DIY and do it yourself and just don't buy any fancy inserts, which I want to do, <laughs> but not at the moment. This is not my priority. So yeah, this is the next drawer, which has a lot of liners, mascaras, uh, this has to be there. Uh, pencils, eyebrow pencils, lip pencils, uh, lip glosses that I haven't put up there, over there, because I don't have the space. A lot of lip stuff, lip primers, there's the lip pencil. Uh, sharpener, uh, shoot, Umura eyelash curler, which is one of, uh, which is the best that I've ever used. Um, and yeah, just a mix of liners. Some mascaras, LA Splash sealer base, which I've talked about like a hundred times in my videos. And yeah, oh, these ones are really good. NYX uh, eyebrow gels. Third drawer, which I kind of want to re rearrange because I have powders here. I have the setting powders over here and blushes that I kind of don't use that often, but sometimes I grab for them. This one's really good, Shu Uemura, a peachy pink blush. It's a really good one. It's called Soft Apricot. NYX blushes, NYX bronzer, which I don't use that often, but yeah, there it is. Just bourgeois blush. And then I have these amazing NYX eyeshadows that I use really, really frequently. Um, yeah, I love them. They're so cool. Um, and they're so very pigmented. And then in the back, I have a lot of pigments. Uh, these ones are from Glamour Doll Eyes, Beauty from the Earth. Uh, what else? What else? Um, Raving Beauty Cosmetics. Uh, yeah, it's a mix, mix of things. And there in the back, I have glitter uh, by Glitter Injections. So a lot of glitters over there. And then I have glitters as well in here, just in the pots um, and in these plastic bags. These ones are from Coastal Scents. And then here I have, um, again, this is such a beautiful shadow by NYX. It's called Purple, no, Love Junkie. It's called Love Junkie. It's a really beautiful purpley color. Um, and yeah, then I have Ilamasca staff. Staff. <laughs> staff. Uh, here I have Ilamasca palette with liquid metals in it and a few of the Ilamasca pigments as well. So moving on. So this is a drawer that I'm really happy with <laughs> because these inserts just are perfect. So here I have a lot of pigments. Uh, yeah, these ones are MAC pigments, MAC glitters. Uh, yeah, where's my favorite one? There's my, there's my beauty, uh, MAC 3D Silver. Uh, Masquerade Cosmetics, uh, Glamour Doll Eyes ones, lit. This lit glitter is also amazing. It's a really wearable, beautiful glitter. LA Splash stuff. So over there I have cream eyeshadows and cream liner. Is this cream liner? Yeah, this is a Anastasia Anastasia <laughs> cream colors. So I have four of them uh, or five. I don't remember. If I had five maybe. And then these are Krylon ones which are amazing too. And then I have a lot of NYX jumbo pencils in different colors for any occasion. So yeah, that's the first drawer. So next I have lashes. This is the lash drawer. Um, a lot of uh, red cherry ones in the back. Then I have these uh, uh, eBay ones which are really cheap but they're actually pretty good. Um, three stacks of these, then I have a lot of glues and a lot of um, glue removers. Um, lashes by Alash and then Alina lashes, which are so amazing and so pretty. 
And I love these cases. Let me open one. Yeah, I love these mink lashes. So yeah, this is my lash drawer. Then I have uh, the fifth one. No, one, two, three, the sixth one. Um, this is just random stuff that I have. So some baby wipes and some some cotton pads. Um, here I have white hairspray that I want to use in my one of my next videos. This one's by Stargazer. And just random stuff like these ear thingies. Remember, don't remember how they're called. Uh, then I have from Style London these pretty cool tattoos which you can put on with water. Then I have some sponges, some, these are my plugs and tunnels, and then I have sequins. A lot of random stuff, really. I haven't really sorted this drawer out, rhinestones. But yeah, this is that for now. The foundations that I don't use, these ones are by Masquerade Cosmetics. I don't really like them, but I'm keeping them. I'm acting like a 50 year old and I keep everything. So I probably have to throw these out, but I don't know, I'm just keeping them just in case. Then I have the three button ones, which are uh, for my hair. This one has like my dryers, my curlers, straighteners, some brushes, and then this too. Here I have some, some hairsprays, dry shampoos, oils under there, um, mousses, roller set by Revlon and then I have like bobby pins uh, yeah a lot of hair stuff so this is not really interesting for you to see I think <laughs> so yeah in the last drawer I have a lot of um, face paint stuff here uh, more baby wipes here I have printed out some face painting references for my job a lot of Random stuff too, so blood latex that I have, uh, lenses back in there, uh, more sponges, and a lot of nail polishes like from Krylon, from Inglot, uh, yeah, a lot of polishes over there, and some powders there, um, yeah, so and some nail files. So this is a random drawer too. So here I have my face painting stuff, and under there, there's more face painting stuff, but I'm not gonna take it out. So yeah, these are all of the Alex drawers. Now I just want to show what I have in the dressing table. So let me sit down. Yeah, here I have this thingy underneath. So yeah, let's, let's crack this open. So more makeup. Who would have known? So let's start from the left corner. Here I have my concealer palettes. Uh, this one is from Inglot, a lot of Inglot uh, colors. Uh, my Make Forever palette, which I use for correcting and concealing. Some Masquerade Cosmetics cream foundations, which I, I kind of like them, but I, I never had a chance to use them, I don't know. Um, and these are the palettes that I use the most, so that's why I put them here. There I have more palettes, but this one, Graftobian uh, palette, which I use almost like on every job. So these are the so universal colors and you can replace them, which is so cool. So this palette I use really often. Then I use my, this, is, this palette is from BH Cosmetics, but I use it to store my Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, single eyeshadows. So these are just great ones for daily wear, for natural makeup looks. So yeah, I'm keeping this in this important part uh, of my drawer as well. And then I have another palette that I have made myself. This one was from Nuve, Nuve Makeup, Nuve Makeup. And I just used it and put in some some single eyeshadows. These ones are from mostly from Inglot Cosmetics. This one is the Makeup Geeks uh, Corrupt, I think. Uh, Benefit um, single pans that I have depotted, and yeah, so these ones are really good ones, which I use really often as well. 
so I'm keeping them in this corner of the drawer here I have the stuff that I want to give away because I have so much makeup I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to use it all so here are just the palettes that I maybe have swatched once or used once and I, I'm probably going to do a giveaway also this Urban Decay Midnight Emergency palette which has a cracked, cracked mirror in it but I want to give it away uh, yeah some glitter injections glitter which I have a duplicate of uh, yeah a lot of this stuff is just the stuff that I I think I'm not gonna use and just why not just give it away for you guys so uh, the next so this is in a kind of like random uh, DIY box as well and then I have this box which is also meant for a giveaway I think um, yeah MAC pigment which I don't use that often and I think I'm going to give it away to some Mila Masca lipsticks a lot of NYX stuff there actually a lot of pencils and then I have oh my god it almost fell down uh, and then I have so many palettes I don't even have space for it all so as you see it's all stacked it's all really close to each other and I don't have a lot of space that's why I need another unit uh, because sometimes I forget that I have things if they're in the back so yeah that's that would be really convenient to have another Alex unit so here I have my Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes two of them here I have Muji cases that I bought in Muji and I have put in many many lipsticks from MAC from from Masca, from Makeup Geek from NYX uh, these ones are red tones and the black burgundy ones and this random blue over here <laughs> and then I have um, some bridal tones which I use really often uh, nude tones which are yeah I have to still fill this palette up but for now this is really good for me and I have those Anastasia Beverly Hills lipsticks which are amazing and I use them really often and there I have in the back Anastasia Brow Brow Pro palette which I also use very often on the jobs and this is just perfect you just can find oops it's so hard with one hand you can just find your color in this in no time so you have a lot of options over here um, then I have so many eyeshadow palettes in the back that I have made and also the Sedona Lace uh, 120 palette so I'm not gonna show them they're just depotted palettes uh, unique mascara which I don't use that often but I'm just keeping it here my sleek matte eyeshadow palette which I just I sometimes I just do like this I open it dip it in dip it dip my brush into this and close the drawer <laughs> it's so convenient to do because I have um, th the mirror part has broken off so it's just standing like this uh, out there like this uh, some Lorac palette uh, masquerade cosmetics uh, lip palette which I don't use that often and Shuimura palette which is so pretty I love it I'm gonna show it just look at these colors they're so amazing it's so pigmented so yeah that's the palette all right so I think I've showed you everything that I have in this drawer uh, let's just gonna close it and yeah that's my makeup collection for now uh, I really want to get more stuff but yeah as I said I don't have enough space for it so I might get a new one might get another one of those Alex units but the half one and maybe try to put it somewhere I don't know yet where maybe over there where I have my lamp but yeah so that's about it I hope you enjoyed this video and somehow it was helpful if you have questions about my ring light I ordered it on eBay and it costed about about 90 pounds I think 
so yeah that's a really good ring light to film with i have my lighting equipment and my background equipment under my bed so i'm not gonna pull that out and show you maybe i'm gonna do another video on lighting but as you have seen obviously from my videos my lighting is not like the the perfect one the the easiest one to set up too so maybe when i get a bigger flat or a bigger place i might do i have my own studio but for now this is what i have and yeah i'm i'm kind of happy with it so okay guys i'll speak to you all in my next video bye